Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody is alright today. It's Sunday, March 10th. Currently it's 36 degrees. A little cooler than it's been. A high of 54 today. 34% chance of rain. It rained yesterday again. Uh, most of the day. Uh, kind of a slow rain. That uh, soaks in good that way though. Uh, winds at 11 mile per hour, so it's a little windy. And today, finally, I got Ask My Tablet uh, recorded. <laughs> Sorry it took so long, everybody that had questions in it, but I've just been really busy, honestly. So, uh, and had other things I had to do, you know. So, anyway, I've already got 11 questions towards the next one. So, when you watch it, leave a few questions in there. And uh, once I get enough for the next one, then I, any that are left over will go on the one following that. So if you've never watched it, definitely check it out. I think it's a really great show and everybody likes it that watches it. So uh, it's got a little something for everybody, really, uh, in it. Okay. Uh, tonight for dinner, uh, if we go by plan, the plan, that, oh, this will be the third time that I've, you know, we made uh, that Coca-Cola roast joint, I made it, and we put extra stuff in it and everything, and then the second time we had it, uh, there was just a lot of meat. That was a big piece that we got, uh, and uh, the second time I put some canned potatoes in it, added to it, and a can of carrots. This time, I think I'll put something like a can of uh, green beans in it with what's left, and this it'll make three meals. That we've had so i can't you know that that's a really good deal for you know even though that was i think it was 15 dollars for that roast it was supposed to be 28 dollars, but it was on sales but uh it did last you know made this like i said this will be three meals so uh that's an average of about five bucks a meal so that's not bad at all and the vegetables don't cost hardly anything you know put them in there Okay, so yeah, I'll probably jazz it up again. I might put a can of, uh, or a jar of uh, beef gravy or something in there to get the gravy, a uh, little more gravy in it. So, yeah, we love it. Uh, I think I'm gonna have garlic bread this time, but we had, uh, we had cornbread twice. And that last cornbread I made, it, it was, um, I had cheese in it, cheddar cheese in it, and jalapenos on the top with some more cheese on top, and it was just really good. Okay, time for jokes of the day. Uh, this one says, guy walks into bar pulling on a long chain. The bartender asked him, you come in here every day pulling that chain, why? The guy replies, have you ever tried to push one? <laughs> And okay, here's another one with little Johnny. Teacher, are you good in history? Little Johnny, yes and no. Teacher, what does that mean? Little Johnny, yes, I'm no good in history. <laughs> and thought of the day, if you cannot get rid of the family skeleton, you may as well make it dance. <laughs> That's from George Bernard Shaw. Okay. And I'm going to look a little bit uh, for which trivia I want to use today. So I'll be right back. Okay, I think I got one here. Let me get it to go to it. This one is, says bread quiz. What breakfast staple is called lost bread in France? French toast, pancakes, croissant, Tartine. I'm not sure what that is. T-A-R-T-I-N-E. Breakfast staple is called lost bread in France. French toast, croissant, pancakes, tartine. I uh, just think since it says bread, you know, uh, French toast, you use bread to make that. So that's what I'm going to go by. Yeah, that's it. A staple food in France, French toast is named pain perdu, which translates literally to lost bread, reflecting the use of stale bread so it doesn't get lost. Okay. Okay, next question. 
What does the BLT on the BLT sandwich stand for? I think everybody might know this. Blue cheese, lardons, toast, bacon, lettuce, tomato, basil, lime, turkey, bread, lettuce, tuna. <laughs> Uh, I just can't see a basil, lime, and turkey sandwich. And I don't even know what a lardones is. Blue cheese, lardones, toast. <laughs> Bread, lettuce, tuna. I think everybody probably knows it's, it's a BLT is bacon, lettuce, and tomato. I love them. Oh, my gosh. Especially with my homegrown tomatoes in the summer. Oh, yeah. BLT sandwich has been a popular choice for decades as the combination of ingredients makes it a filling, amazing sandwich. It's perfect for eating on those warmer days and pairs well with potato chips, french fries, and soft drinks. Yum. The single cell fungi that make bread rise are known by what na name? By what name? Yam, ginger, mold, Yeast. <laughs> Some of these uh, answers they give are just <laughs> they're hilarious. Uh, let's see. So he'll sell a fun guy that makes bread rise. Give me some of that yam. Yam to get this bread rise. Honey, make sure you put enough mold in there to make it rip, uh, rise. <laughs> I think everybody probably knows it's yeast. Uh, yeast are eukaryotic single cell microorganisms classified as members of the fungus kingdom. The first yeast originated hundreds of millions of years ago and at least 1,500 species are currently recognized. Hmm. Didn't know that. Which city is particularly known for its sourdough bread? Houston, San Francisco, New Orleans, Miami. Mm -hmm. Sourdough bread, Houston, San Francisco, New Orleans, Miami. I'm gonna say San Francisco. That's right. San, San Francisco is synonymous with sourdough bread. Patrons line up daily for fresh from the oven loaves at Tartine Bakery. So that's just the name of the bakery and they put it as one of the breads or something or where the bread's from. Hmm. Tartine Bakery in the city's Mission District and at the Mill, a whole grain sourdough bakery and independent coffee shop just west of San Francisco's famous Painted Ladies Victorians. Four right, none wrong. Texas toast is a large slice of bread covered in butter and what? Cheese, beef, horseradish, garlic. Mm, this could be a little uh, tricky. Texas toast is a large slice of bread covered in butter and white cheese, beef, horseradish, garlic. I want to say garlic, but you know they it could uh, it could be cheese, but it, but it is it's garlic. And the stuff I read it after it only pops up after you answer. Uh, Texas toast is a toasted bread that is typically made from sliced bread that has been sliced at double the usual thickness of packaged bread. Texas toast is prepared by spreading butter on both sides of the bread and broiling or grilling it until it is a light brown. Commonly, garlic is added to the butter, yielding a form of garlic bread. Oh, it sounds really good that way. According to Billy Joel, who has been living in a white bread world? I don't remember him saying that in his, is that what it says in his song? A white bread world. Who was, who has been living? A piano man, modern woman, the down Easter Alexa. Oops, oops, never mind. I said that. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Okay, <laughs> she heard your name. <laughs> Uptown girl. Okay. 
<coughs> according to Billy Joel, who has been living in a right bread world. Piano Man, Modern Woman, The Down Eastern, The Down Easter, A L E X A, and Uptown Girl. I didn't think about it doing that until after I said the word. I think it's Uptown Girl. She's been living in her white bread world. I guess that's what it was. I thought it said something else, actually. I can't remember what I thought it was. She's been living in her. So it's white bread world. Okay. I think I was singing the wrong thing <laughs> before. Uh, I thought it said something else. You know how it is when you listen to a song for a long time, you think it says something like, uh, you know, uh, what do you think it sounds like? And then you find out that the lyric is totally different than what you think it was it's been quite a few of those <coughs> okay okay did you know uptown girl is a song written and performed by american musician billy joel the lyrics describe a working class downtown man attempting to woo a wealthy uptown girl living in a white bread world okay i didn't know what is the name of the French bread shaped like a long stick? Baguette, naan, chapiti, croissant. <laughs> Everybody knows what a croissant looks like, you know. I mean, sometimes they have like a round ones, you know, that you use like buns. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, a naan bread is flat and just round. You know what a croissant is? Chapati. I'm not for sure what that is. I don't think I've ever had that. But it's a baguette. Yeah. Bread and rolls are produced in all shapes and sizes, determined by many factors, including the type of flour used for making the bread, whether or not the bread is leavened, the baking method, and the symbolic meaning of bread. Baguette, the French term for stick or little rod, is a long, rounded shape that has become a popular name for several pieces pieces of bread with a similar shape. I'll have a baguette, please. What type of bread is usually used to make a grilled cheese? Tortillas, fo focaccias, buns, sliced bread. I don't know what that is in the picture. They're showing some kind of bread in the picture. There. Okay, you know, uh, Basically, like a grilled cheese with, uh, if you're thinking of tortilla, okay, it's tortilla, focaccia, bun, sliced bread. Uh, that Wouldn't that be more like a, uh, what's it, a quesadilla, if you tried to do a tortilla with it? Uh, focaccia, I think it's it's a, like a kind of a flat bread, and I don't know, I, I think I've had it once or twice. Buns are like hamburger buns, you really... It's, it's sliced bread. Yep. A grilled cheese, sometimes known as a toasted sandwich or cheese toasty, is a hot cheese sandwich typically prepared by heating slices of cheese between breads, slices of bread with a cooking fat such as butter or mayonnaise on a frying pan. How about mayonnaise and butter? Okay, I got eight right, none wrong today. Wow, I know a lot about bread. Which of these types of sandwiches often has three layers of bread? Um, has three layers. Okay, bologna sandwich, pilgrim sandwich, club sandwich, Denver sandwich. Has anybody ever heard of a pilgrim sandwich? Or a Denver sandwich? I've heard of a Denver omelet. Pilgrim sandwich or bologna sandwich it's uh, it's got to be uh i'll say it one more time bologna sandwich pilgrim sandwich club sandwich denver sandwich club if y'all have ever seen the short i did of the club sandwich from uh mcallister's oh my gosh that thing was crazy it was so big uh it's in my shorts videos next question i got one more i got Nine right, so far none wrong. Which kind of bread roll is traditionally boiled before it's baked? Oh no, I'll probably miss this one. All right. Machetta, manchette, kummelweck, 
bagels. Machetta, M I C H E T T A. Manchette, M A N C H E T. Never had either one of those. Or, or Kummelweck, K U M M E L W E C K. So they all sound kind of weird. I'm sure they're not weird, but I just never heard of them before. But bagels is the only thing I know of, so that's what I'll take. Right. Good. The word bagel comes from the Yiddish word beagle. Bagels are thought to have originated in Poland where Polish bakers, in an effort to honor their victorious horse-riding king, made a stirrup-shaped roll and boiled it before baking. The, this boiling helped keep the shape of the roll during subsequent baking. So that's how it was invented. Okay, everybody, I did a 10 and 0 today. Got a perfect score. I hope you did too. Uh, and everybody, I hope you enjoyed this morning's trivia time and morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. Definitely check out Ask My Tablet later on. You, you're going to love it if you've never watched it before, so check it out. Bye, everyone, and God bless.